Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about how the theorems on chords, tangents, and secant segments are used in solving problems. Question number one is, what's the length of line OD in the figure? Now, remember dun sa theorem na na-discuss natin in the last video, okay, yung chord, yung products of um, the segments of a chord, when multiplied to the products of the segments from the other chord should be equal. So, to solve this problem, kunin natin yung measure ng chord AB. So, 8 multiply natin sa 10. And then, sa chord CD naman, 12 times the length of the, um, the line segment OD, which is X yung tinawag na lang natin. So, you multiply 8 and 10, you get 80 is equal to 12X. Tapos, Divide both sides by 12 to get the value of x, which is 6.67. Okay, problem number 2, what is the length of line zk in the figure? So, sa figure natin, we have the line segment 4, and then yung kanyang must be multiplied to um, the line segment zk. It should be equal to the product of 7 and 5. So, yung 4 times x, that's 4x, equal to 7 times 5, 35. Then, divide both sides by 4. So, value ng ating x is equal to 8.75. Now, to check kung tama ba yung value ng x natin, i-multiply mo si 8.75 kay 4. So, that should be equal to 35. Number 3, what's the value of x? So, ito ay same uh, theorem ang i-apply. So, yung... Line segments from the same chord, multiply, Tapos, it should be equal to the line seg the product of the line segments from the other chord. So, 7 times x is equal to 10 times 5. So, 5 times 10 is equal to 50, equal to 7 times x. And then, divide both sides by 7. So, the value of your x is equal to 7.14. Problem number 4. What's the length of line NA in the figure? So, ito, same theory yung i-apply natin. Line segments from the same chord must be multiplied. And then, um, multiply also yung 8 and X, which is the line segments from the other chord. So, 8 times X is 8X. And then, 12 times 7 is 84. Divide both sides by 8. So, value of your x is equal to 10.5. Problem number 5, what's the length of x? So, this theorem is about uh, the secant line and its external secant segment. So, sabi dito, kunin mo yung measure ng buong secant line at i-multiply mo siya doon sa external secant segment. Ganon din yung gagawin mo sa kabilang side. So, 8 plus x times 8 and then 20 plus 12 which is 32 times the external segment which is 12. So 8x plus 64 is equal to 384 tapos i-transpose mo yung 64 magiging negative na siya so 384 minus 64 is 320 then divide both sides by 8 para makuha mo yung value ng x which is equal to 40. Problem number 6. What is the length of x? So, dito naman, hinahanap natin yung value ni x. So, same as the theorem applied kanina, kunin mo yung sukat ng buong uh, secant line. So, that's x plus 18. Tapos, yung external secant segment is 18. So, sa baba naman na secant line natin, 24 plus 16. And then, yung external is 16. So, 40 times 16 is 640. And then, yung 8x x plus 18 times 18 is 18x plus 324. So, transpose positive 324, magiging negative 324 siya. Subtract natin yung num whole numbers. So, 316. Tapos, 18x is equal to 316. So, to solve for x, divide both sides by 18. So, that will give us 17.56. Number 7, how long is x? 
Okay, so ito yung theorem kanina ulit. So, same as the process earlier. So, kunin mo yung sukat ng buo times the external. Then, equal siya sa buong line, uh, second line times the external. So, x plus 10 is yung sukat ng buong line, uh, second line times the external, which is 10, is equal to 29 times 9. So, 10x plus 100 is equal to 261. Transpose positive 100, so magiging negative 100 siya. So, 261 minus 100 is 161. Divide both sides by 10. So, the value of your x is equal to 16.1. Number 8, how long is x? So, same as the process earlier, x plus 8 is yung sukat ng buong secant line. Tapos, yung nasa labas niyang secant segment is 8. And then, sa baba naman, yung second line is 9 plus 7, that's 16, times yung nasa labas is 7. So, 8x plus 64 is equal to 112. 112 minus 64 is 48. Divide both sides by 8. So, yung x mo is equal to 6. Number 9, what's the value of y? So, pag titignan mo dito, ito yung isa ay tangent line, at yung isa naman ay second line. So, sabi doon sa ating theorem, I-square mo yung um, tangent line. Dapat equal yon sa product ng buong secant line sa kanyang external secant segment. So, ang tangent line natin dito ay 20. 20 and then, you square that. Tapos, yung sukat ng buong secant segment or secant line ay uh, y plus 30 times yung nasa labas which is y. And then, y squared plus 30y is equal to 400. So, magiging quadratic equation na siya. Ilipat mo si 400 sa kabila tapos i-factor mo. So, magiging, ang factor siya ay y plus 40 times y minus 10 is equal to 0. So, sa measurements natin, hindi naman ginagamit yung negative. So, ang gagamitin natin, yung y plus 40 kasi i-transpose mo siya sa 0, magiging negative 40 siya. And then, yung y minus 10, i-transpose mo si negative 10, magiging positive 10. So, sa measurements, ang ginagamit lang natin is positive. So, y is equal to 10, yung value ng ating y. Number 10, what's the value of x? So, yung x nyo is tangent line, yung isa naman ay second segment. So, sa tangent line, x squared. And then, yung sa second segment, 7 plus 5 times 5 siya. Okay, so 12 times 5 is 60 is equal to x squared. Get the square root of 60 and square root of x squared para makuha yung x lang. So, x nyo rito is 7.75. Number 11, what's the value of x? So, dito, isang tangent ulit at isang external secant segment. Ngayon, ang sukat ng ating buong uh, tangent line ay 8. Then, you square that is equal to yung sukat ng secant line ay x plus 4 at yung nasa labas niya ay 4. So, magiging 4x plus 16 is equal to 64. So, transpose natin si positive 16, magiging negative 16 siya, equal to 48 na lang yung 64 minus 16. Tapos, divide both sides by 4, ang x natin is equal to 12. Okay, number 12 naman. What's the value of x? So, nawawala si tangent line. So, square natin siya. Tapos, yung sa secant, uh, secant line, 25 plus 16 times 16. So, next step is multiply 41 and 16. You get 656. Para matanggal yung exponent na 2, get the square root of both sides. Ang value ng x natin, 25.61. Number 13. Number 13 natin is what's the value of x? So, yung tangent line ulit yung nawawala. So, same process natin. Tangent nyo ay square is equal to yung buong secant line times the external which is 9. Kaya 25 times 9 is equal to x squared. So, 25 times 9 is 225. Get the square root of both sides. Your x is equal to 15. Number 14, what's the value of x? 
So, same as kanina, tangent squared is equal to buong second segment, second line times the external second segment. So, 10. Nakuha yung 10 by adding 6 and 4. Then, times 4, nasa labas. So, 10 times 4 is 40. X squared, get the square root of both sides. So, 6.32 yung value ng ating X. And last number, what's the value of X in this given problem? So, yung tangent natin, ang sukat ay 20, i-square nyo yan. And then, yung sukat ng buong secant line ay 16 plus x, at yung nasa labas ay 16. Distribute nyo si 16 sa x plus 16, so 16x plus 256 is equal to 400. 16x is equal to 400 minus 256 is equal to 144 na lang, equal to 16x. So, divide both sides by 16, ang value ng inyong x is equal to 9. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede nyo panoorin ulit yung video. Pwede nyo rin i-download at i-save sa inyong um, smartphones kung kayo ay may uh, YouTube account. So thanks for watching. Like, share, and then subscribe din.